So, this is a video of how I literally learned everything. And I'm gonna start with a story, but if you wanna just basically get in the beef of it, here's a timestamp right up there. And yeah, so, story of me is I was in college and I started my pre-med at like basic biology, basic chemistry courses my freshman year. And I literally just got like, I got a C plus on my biology two. I got like B minuses in my biology one. Just like literally like just doing terrible. And like, I was like, what the heck is going on, right? You know? And like, as you can imagine, I'm literally just looking at like every single productivity video on YouTube during this time. I'm like looking at Thomas Frank, like looking at like all this stuff. And I'm just like, how do I incorporate what they're saying into my daily life? As soon as I like, I felt like I was improving after watching these productivity videos, the next week I'd literally be doing nothing, like going out, doing nothing. And like my grades really did tank and it got to the point where I was considering just basically switching majors, going to a business major or something like that, the classic, you know? And yeah, so I realized that I really needed to look into why I wasn't doing as well as I did. And so I asked some friends for some advice. And then this is when they told me about Anki and this freaking app literally saved my life. And so let me get into how I used it. So I'm gonna get into like how I used Anki for the MCAT in this specific video, but you can literally just apply this to it anything that you're studying for your courses or whatever and so Anki is legitimately a lifesaver it's like a second brain for me I just basically put all of my resources into the Anki deck and what I mean by that is I put content review first do you world second and then I just do like extraneous notes and like stuff I find on the internet that help me out third and so by following this strategy I was like able to like basically create this resource for myself where I had like all the information I needed to know for the MCAT and you could do this for a class too by the way and like it just really helped i've stressed this before but like make sure you're not just reading a random book and just like not taking notes like not putting it into your anki deck or flashcards because it's just gonna go right over your head and yeah like you need to really focus on like actively reviewing stuff and so let me get into exactly how i used anki for my uh content review on the mcat So we have here a um, just classic document, right? You got all your information in here and we got the Anki deck on the left. And so what we're gonna wanna do here is actually just literally read through this document and just put the information like it's notes. And my audio broke, but I'm doing right here. I'd be like, what is ADH, right? And then I just write the definition. And so like, it's really simple, but I feel like a lot of people they just write the notes and they are just like reading over it and they're not putting it into their flashcard decks. So they're not like testing themselves on this information. And um, at here I'm saying, what is oxytocin? And so I write the definition again. And so this just really works because you see that these like intervals and you just keep seeing them at these intervals and it really gets down these definitions down solid. And so um, here, just finishing the rest of the oxytocin definition, and I'm noting that oxytocin works through a positive feedback loop. Um, so, yeah, this you just got to do this for basically all the content you're reviewing, so you're actively studying. I say it so many times, but really, it's just the most important thing. Yeah, so I basically just use this strategy for um, all of the Khan Academy videos. Um, I use Khan Academy, but Kaplan's great too, um, and... If you're taking courses, you can use a strategy for courses too. And just really recommend um, just taking notes in the Anki app, like I said before, and it will really help you save your grades and also do better on the MCAT. So like after getting to the content review, like let's talk about how I used UWorld in practice questions and how I used it with Anki. So buy yourself a freaking UWorld subscription. It saved my MCAT score. I literally did content review for like one month straight, just like intense content review and then I took another practice exam, my score went up like two points, and so like I was freaking out. And so I was looking at some advice, and they said take practice questions more, and so I started doing new world questions, and my score went up by like, um, like seven points actually, like within like two weeks. And so let me get into how I use practice questions, and how I put it into my Anki deck, and how this really helped me improve my score. All right, so we have here just a classic MCAT passage, right? We have the answer choices, we have the passage at top. Um, it's just minimized. And so I actually missed this question. I missed question B. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the answer explanations 
and I'm gonna try and figure a way where like I can remind myself to not miss a type of question like this again. And so this question was specifically about what is Vmax, KM, also what is like a Lynn Weaver Burke plot. And so what I'm gonna do here is actually paste the picture in the uh, answer explanation into the Anki deck. And so what I did was on Mac, I just did command shift four, sends the picture to your desktop and you put in the Anki. And then on the front of the card, I'm just gonna put down an explanation, like draw out a Michaelis Menton plot with Vmax and KM. And so when I'm answering these questions, I actually have like a sheet of paper to the right of me and I'm writing down and like I'm drawing out. And so like, it really helps me just cement this knowledge. And then I write KM is, um, that's actually wrong. Oh, here it is, is the concentration at one half V max. And so that's like basically what I did for this question. But then I basically just extend the same philosophy for every other question. And it just really helps you cement the cost, the content. All right. So that's basically how I used uh, Anki for practice questions on the MCAT. And um, you can also do this for courses too, like I've said so many times before, but let me talk about how to use Anki because Anki is a really confusing app if you haven't already noticed if you have it on your computer and so like the general strategy of how I used it was like I had Anki like on my like computer like on the left and then I had a scratch paper on the right and I would write the answers out by hand actually and like this really just helped me memorize it and it was super painful though like you're basically just scanning at this blank computer screen for like hours on end and it just kills you and like I guess like if it hurts it works I don't know like it's like my dad's always told me so like yeah like I just really recommend doing it because it really just helps you solidify the content into your brain and so let me get into like how I actually use Anki because there's like some intricacies of it like of like small tips I can give you and like actually just how to use the software itself and let's do it all right so I'm in the Anki app here and the first thing I'm gonna do is create a deck um, this example, I'm just going to call it MCAT example. And so here we go. And it's created. So I'm going to click on it. And you just press add on the top right there to add cards. And so there's actually two types of card. The first one is the basic card. And what I'm writing out right now is <laughs> what is the powerhouse of the cell? And answer, mitochondria, right? And then, um, yeah, so then I'm going to go add that card. And then I'm actually gonna put it, sorry, before I add it, I'm gonna put a tag on it. And this allows you to like organize your cards further. And so I put a biology tag. And so I'm gonna add this card. And then let me show you the second type of card. The second type of card is called the close card. So you just click type, scroll all the way down, close right there. And to use this one, you have to click on the three dots and it's like closed by brackets. And whatever's in there is what you're not gonna see when you're testing yourself. So um, I'm gonna put mitochondria, and I'm gonna say, is the powerhouse of the cell. And so it's basically the same card, but it's just testing you in a different way. And I leave the biology tag the same. And so, yeah, I made two types of cards, all testing me on uh, the mitochondria, and let's take them now. So to take them, you just click it, study now, and here we go. And so the whole point of Anki is, you look at the card, and you have these three options. If you miss it, you do again. And if you get it right, you press good 10 minutes. And so that one I missed, so I did one minute. This one, I think I'm gonna get, so I'm gonna do um, 10 minutes. Yeah, it was good. But then this one, what is powers of cell? I was just asked this, so I'm gonna answer it and I'm gonna say good this time. And then blank is the powers of cell, I got it right. And so now I'm only gonna see it in a day versus um, in 10 minutes. And so I did that for both cards, got them both right. And so now my deck is done and I'm finished studying for the day. And so that's basically how to use Anki to study, but there's some other tips and tricks that like, I just want to show you really quick to help you use the app even further. And so the first thing I want to show you is um, custom study options. You can study all the cards in a deck at the same time, which is really helpful. So you just follow this thing that I'm doing right now. Um, custom study, study by card tater tag, make a large number for the amount of cards. So you include all your cards and then all cards in a random order. And then you can like click on include tags. That's why tags are important. Um, earlier when I said you can organize them further. So this one, I'm just gonna click the biology tag. And, but actually, no, sorry, I'm not gonna do that. And look, I got a custom study session right here. And it's separate from the other deck that we actually created. So it's a good way to like cram if you need a cram for something. Like I use it pretty often, to be honest, for finals and stuff like that. And then um, let me go ahead and delete that. And let me show you uh, another thing. So if you wanna change the amount of cards that you see each day, 
you go wheel options and you do new cards and I'm gonna put like 30 okay for example and then reviews I'm gonna put uh, 50 and so this says that like I will see 30 new cards every day and I'll see 50 cards that um, I have already gotten right and so I actually don't have that many cards in this deck so it doesn't really show the do and the new thing yet but if I were to do that for another deck it would change it and the last thing I'm going to show you is the browse function. Browse is super cool. Um, you can use other people's decks on Reddit and stuff. And so this is the PS Pre-Med Pre 95 deck. And they got great cards, right? And so say I want to put one of their cards into my deck. Instead of copying and pasting everything over, what you can do is you can actually just literally right-click onto the card. Um, here, I'm going to do it in a second. One second. There we go. Change deck. And then I'm going to put it into my own deck, which was MCAT example. And so, yeah, now I just added it into my own deck. And so I didn't even have to write my own card out. I literally just took it from somebody else's. And so that's how I basically use Anki. And I think that's all the tips I have for you. So, yeah, it's uh, basically how I use Anki for my content review, my Euro questions, and like basic just advice, like how I used it for courses and other stuff. And so Anki is literally a saver. Download it now, and I really recommend it. It's going to save your course grades, and it's also going to save your MCAT score. The most important thing to get from this video is, like, it's not really Anki that's saving you. It's like, why well, did you say that? But it's more of, like, actively reviewing stuff. So stop passively reading your books, like, for your courses and stuff, and, like, start making flashcards and start using them and start testing yourself. Once you start doing that, you're going to see improvements. I did. I, my GPA, like, improved so much once I started doing this after my freshman, sophomore year. And I was able to graduate with a biochemistry degree and also do well on the MCAT. So you can do it too. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. And yeah, um, if you want more videos, also leave them down in the comments. And yeah, see you there, guys.